Welcome to part three of my Writer's Zen tutorial, helping you create content that ranks in Google. You'll find the link to the playlist in the description below this video. In video one, I covered topical authority and I created a topic map, also known as a topic cluster, using Writer's Zen's topic discovery tool. In video two, I discovered over 400 easy to rank for keywords to target using Writer's Zen's keyword explorer tool. Now I'm ready for step three, which brings it all together to create perfect content that pleases both Google and and the search. You'll find timestamps in the description below this video. Let's do this. As I mentioned in the previous video, writing for search engines is just as wrong as writing for humans. We actually need to write for both and in a specific order. First, we need to meet Google's criteria in order to qualify as an expert. Only then we get a shot at competing for that search traffic. Secondly, we need to meet the search's criteria. And if that wasn't hard enough, we need to engage them. And there's no trick in Google. The time on site metric tells Google exactly how long your visitors are staying on your page. And of course, that's the end goal, because if you make users happy and they stick around, then Google rewards you with higher rankings that stick. On the other hand, if you screw this up, then you can kiss your rankings goodbye. So let me show you how you can create great content that meets both Google's criteria and the searcher's criteria in Writer's Zen. In Content Creator, click New Project. Name it, set the location and language if you need to, and hit Add. You can set the seed keyword, writer's name, priority, deadline, and notes if you're outsourcing your writing or for yourself if that helps you stay organized. And here you can see a toggle that enables you to switch on Google NLP. No, not that NLP. I'm talking about natural language processing. And you need to know about this because it affects your rankings. NLP enables Google to extract meaning from your content. It's based on a knowledge graph with entities and it works like this. If you write about an Apple, NLP enables Google to figure out if you're talking about Apple Records as in the Beatles record label or Apple Inc or Apple the Fruit. If your page contains words like Steve Jobs, Tim Cook and iPad, those are classed as entities that exist in Google. Google's knowledge graph about Apple Inc. So having those entities on your page confirms to Google what your page is actually about. Now flip that around. If you're writing about Apple Inc, the tech company, then you need to include those entities that Google already knows and expects to see on your page in order to meet Google's expertise criteria and outrank your competitors. And this is where WriterZen yet again outshines its competitors. If we toggle Google's NLP switch on, WriterZen integrates with Google's NLP API to pull out the required entities for any piece of content you're creating. This is your new dirty secret, your unfair advantage. WriterZen actually tells you the entities you need to include on your page. Inside the content creator, you'll see three steps, the outline builder, the keywords screen and the final step which brings it all together. The outline builder shows you a competitive analysis of the top 20 pages competing for your target keyword. It also shows you the percentage of pages in the top 20 that are articles. This metric alone can help you decide whether you should target a particular keyword. Another handy data is the sentiment. If the majority of the top results have a particular sentiment, like neutral, then it's probably best to stick to that same sentiment in your writing. Impressive, I know. On the right hand side of the screen, Writer's End tells you how to structure your content based on the top results, from word count to number of headings, paragraphs and images. And this is something very unique. Instead of limiting you to the data, you have a slider here where you can set your own word count and see here in real time the number of competing results you would beat in word length as well as your recommended headings, paragraphs and images adjusting along with your word count. It's genius, powerful and beautiful rolled all into one. Back in the left, you can see the word count for each ranking and use that to decide on your own target word count. So I'm going to use the slider to set my own word count according to the word count of the top result. And just like that, I now have the word length, number of headings, paragraphs and images I need to aim for. There's no guessing. The data guides you every step of the way and it's instant. Let's add a title and description. You can use the search results on the left to get inspiration. Now it's time to quickly build our outline. Click on any result to expand it and see the structure. Note that when you hover over a piece of text, Writer's End highlights it for you. Let's say I like the look of this H2 heading. I can click it and you'll see it just got added to my outline. Moreover, the content remains highlighted so I don't have to keep reading the page and checking if I already added it to my outline. 
Let's add a few more headings and other text. I can quickly build an outline from things that I already know work. Once I have enough, I can revise each section in my outline builder and drag and drop things around however I please. And once I have my outline, it's time to add some keywords. Click on step two and you'll see the keywords to include divided into three sections. On the right, you'll see that Right Design already added some keywords that you should target. Start by adding the obvious competitor keywords by clicking on the plus sign. Next to each keyword, you can see the amount of times that keyword appears in the text and also in headings. You'll also see search volumes and the relevance of the keyword to the article you're writing. When you're done, add some easier to rank for keywords to give you a nice balance. Go through the NLP keywords and add the ones that make most sense to your article. And finally, click import from list to import any keyword list you created in the previous steps. Now hit save and begin writing. In step three, content writing, you can hit full screen to minimize distractions. Click copy to editor to copy your outline to the document and then click keywords to see the keywords highlight when you type them in your screen. The metrics above let you know when you hit your targets. You can always take a peek at competitors if you need to write from here without having to go back a step. And you can enrich your document by adding relevant questions from people also ask and read it. Simply click the copy symbol to copy a question to your document. You can add links and images to your document to improve your score and when you're done, you can hit the plagiarism checker if you want to check your doc is unique enough. Writer Zen is the only tool on the market that encapsulates the entire content creation and optimization process from beginning to end and it does it beautifully. By the time you start writing, 80% of the work is actually done. I spent a decade ranking websites for clients. I used five different tools. It wasn't cheap and it wasn't pretty. And I couldn't do half of what I can do with Writer Zen. Now I have one tool with an uninterrupted workflow that enables me to create truly good content that can rank. You'll find the link to Writer Zen in the description below this video. Once you sign up for the tool, you'll see a video onboarding series which covers everything in a lot more depth than I have here. There are onboarding tutorials for beginners as well as seasoned SEOs. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.